that that goes into what I'm going to say here about Young Miami. Now, Young Miami, speaking of prostitute mentality, <laughs> she um she uh is uh, basically a concubine of Diddy, right? He flies her out whenever he wants to see her. He gives her money, buys her things. He gave her a show on Revolt TV, which is a network he is the figurehead of. And she responded to somebody in the comment section by saying she retired from music, right? She retired from music, which is fine. You know, you're done with music. That's fine. Um, but I want y'all to understand something. These women are strong and independent until they get a sugar daddy that's basically willing to take care of them as long as they are concubines. As, even though it make it embarrasses her, he's flying out other women, right? He tried to hide one woman and she, she still got caught. You know what I'm saying? It's like no self-respect. How how are you gonna have how are you gonna claim you value yourself when you are lowering yourself to being somebody's concubine? And that's the Western woman's mentality. The Western woman's mentality is I'm going to deal with this person no matter how bad it looks, no matter how you know they're dealing with other women, and I'm just gonna take being basically in the in that position what's up Paris? make sure y'all like the stream and i want y'all to understand this is this is the mindset of western women and it, it's not like relying on these women because as i said on my patreon exclusive the other day i talked about how you know the mentality is that these are supposed to be the best women but these women are masculine and they're over slorified. We have a deep slorification going on. We have emasculization going on and we have slorification going on. And the thing is, young Miami has a child. She's basically a single mother. And you basically said, this is all I'm, this is the ceiling that I'm going to reach. But these women claim they love themselves. They're living their best life. You know how many emotional scars she's going to be developing? By the time she's 40, she is going to be completely undateable. Who's going to want to date a woman who's publicly saying that she's a, basically a concubine? She's doing it for the money. That means that men are only going to see her as something to have if they they'll throw money at her. And that's, they, that's why they're undateable. Western women are completely undateable. And they want to blame us as men and say that we're lying on them. That's what they've been saying for years. Even before I started making videos, they would make it seem like men are lying on them. She's in survival mode. Appreciate that, Jack. I want people to understand that it's not up to men to make these women love themselves. You know, somebody sent me a, um, they sent me a, I don't know why y'all be sending me these TikTokers videos. Like you be sending me, this, like somebody sent me a TikTok video from this, uh, from this female, from this melanated female. She might, I think she's from the continent. Just seemed very stuck up and, you know, very, you know, full of themselves, even though they don't like how they look. So they alter it. And you could just, you could, they're seething with like bitterness, even though they are in their early 20s, it seemed like early or mid 20s. And they're giving it dating advice to women. And they claim women are benefiting from that advice. First off, these women are liars. The one thing you will understand a lot of these women are liars. Even young Miami is lying. She's not happy. She just don't want to be embarrassed. So instead of her, you know, understanding that, she's going to accept being humiliated for money. And she tells everybody she's happy with the humiliation, but she isn't. But yet, yet but I, again, and I want to tell you guys this, you know, stop, you know, most of these chicks on TikTok are liars, deceivers. They all want to be dating coaches all of a sudden. I told y'all, these are the offspring of Kevin Samuels. They all want to be him. Even though they hated him, they all, they all want to be dating coaches. They all want to go out. They claim they're helping women. How can you help women when you're basically the embodiment of women that we don't want to deal with? You are single, okay? You don't have a, 
unless you have a secret man a lot of these women be secretly dating men they have this because women have two sides of themselves right you got women who have a public persona and a private persona they're very two-faced they're going to show you one side of themselves but there's a part of them that y'all don't see that's that's who they truly are women show you who they want you to see and then there's a part of them that you don't see and a lot of times they they're hiding that because if you see the real them you won't take them seriously like how can you say you're a dating coach and you're trying to put on this facade like you're so mature and you know you got everything together you have this sort of bitterness towards men but i guarantee you the dude that you're sleeping with is a complete goofy and he's probably narcissistic probably got all these other slores on the side and you're and you're basically one of them you're basically one of them you're one of those women that is getting mistreated and disrespected by the same man you're telling women to stay away from these women are two-faced and they're liars don't believe what they say look at their actions they're liars a lot of them are very good at it Young Miami is a liar. She's not happy in this position. But when she realized that Diddy was not going to publicly claim her and he was going to continue to sleep with other women, she had to accept it. He forced her. No, I'll say forced. He basically publicly, you know, he, he, uh, he got her on his program. He got her on his, she, and she's supposed to be a city girl. <laughs> She's a city girl, ain't it? But you're getting on his program. All, you know, these women will submit one way or the other. A lot of times. But yeah, a lot, I'm, I'm, you know, they got these women who so-called female dating coaches. A lot of these women are BSing. A lot of these women just have pent up frustration themselves. They hate themselves. They have low self-esteem. They mask it. You can't even smile. That's, that's just how, you know, bitter this person is. But they talking about how they're coaching. You need to coach yourself on having self-esteem and getting a man yourself. If you can't coach yourself to getting a man that you want, you're not a coach. I'm telling you, most of these heifers on, why do y'all listen to them? Why y'all listening to these women? Like, seriously. What's up, b -fifth? So y'all like the stream too like y'all sending me these tiktok videos i'm like why are you sending me i mean i'm looking at the catalog of tiktok videos and i'm like man this is a met did not say messy this is a goofy feminist minded gen zer what 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 the hell she got to tell me what is she gonna tell me or tell anybody else that is gonna be of use you need to get over your own issues because a lot of these people walk around with all this mental illness. They so mentally ill and demented, man. You got, you look at YouTube. Look at all these mentally unstable women on YouTube. <laughs> look at these males. <laughs> what the hell a Gen Z are going to tell me? Or, or tell anybody about dating somebody when you look like you have mental issues when you look like you're seeping with bitterness when you look like you're not even happy like come on man sitting over there in, in some Indonesian woman's hair trying to talk down to men when you need to get your life together before you try to tell anybody about advice. Ain't nobody learning nothing for that advice. Stop lying. Yeah, Diddy is cleaning up. Diddy is, is dealing with this baby mama and that baby mama. He flew out 50 cents baby mama. I'm make I'm gonna make a video addressing that one. Cause she she responded. You know, 50 Cent made a joke out of it, right? And she and she was so triggered. I'm talking about Daphne Joy. She was so triggered that she put up this long ass post and plus she commented in his comment section. That's how triggered she was. Um, excuse me, you're a woman who's not ugly, right? She's not the youngest woman, but she's not old either. 
And you mean to tell me that you're happy getting flued out by a man that has multiple concubines publicly? You're talking about that makes you happy? That's your Western woman and they're, and they're talking about it's a bad thing that men want to go overseas. The women here want to be side chicks. I got, don't understand why people don't see that. Hey, you simps, your women want to be side chicks more than they want to be wise. Prove me wrong. Diddy is screwing all these dudes, babies, mamas, and, and you know, <laughs> you know, and they're just dealing with it because I don't know if it's because of who he is. It can't just be the money. It got to be because of who he is. Maybe they think that there's going to be an opportunity because he did give Young Miami her own show. But I just want to know from you, from you males, you males who are, as the women would say, are windmilling. Y'all out here windmilling for these heifers and y'all look bad out here, man. Not only do you have American simps, you got overseas simps. I mean, they, they just converging and saying we have to we have to do something. These American men are coming to our countries. We got to do something. We don't have to get beat. And they want us to stay here and deal with women who would rather be a side chick than a wife. No, you have options, gentlemen. You need to exercise them. You need to exercise those options instead of dealing with women who are mentally screwed up. They are. I want a lot of you people to understand something. It's bad out here for men that want families. There are men out here who still want families. They want a good woman. But these women, they want to live their best life. They want to be getting flued out they want to be spoiled but what happens when he no longer wants you what happens when he sends you home and never calls you back because that's gonna happen young miami he is going to send you home and he's never gonna call you back what you gonna do then what man is gonna publicly want to claim you after that i, I noticed kodak black has stopped thirsting for you Cause Kodak Black used to thirst for Young Miami a lot, and I, I don't see him doing it no more. Why you think that is? Cause he sees that you're for every, you're for everybody that's Diddy's age, and cause she did say she's into older men, so you got that element as well. You got these heifers with daddy issues, so they're chasing around gray bearded men uh, with money, and those dudes don't t really teach them anything. Those dudes just smash them and 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 dump them too. And you're still left alone. They sell you dreams and they leave you alone. Just like Nick Cannon. He sells these women dreams just to get them impregnated. And that's where they at. 